Hi, I'm Jess, and this is my husband, Greg. We love to travel, and one of our favorite places is Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. If you're a fellow taco addict like us, you're in the right place. We're going to show you all of our favorite stops in this Cabo food tour. Be sure to subscribe to our Drifter Journey channel for more travel videos. The first stop on our Cabo food tour is Gardenias, famous for their shrimp and fish tacos. They serve a few other meats as well, but trust us, they make a killer shrimp taco. You can get them fried or grilled and on corn or flour tortillas. They come plain and then you can dress them up with as much salsa and cabbage as you want. The only struggle here is saving room for other food stops around town. Not too far from Gardenias is Birria Los Paisas. Birria is a traditional dish where meat is marinated and stewed for several hours. It used to be made from goat, but is more commonly made from beef in Cabo San Lucas. In order of birria comes in a bowl with broth, and you can make tacos or eat it as a soup while dipping your tortillas. We also love the quesabirias here, which is a bit of birria and cheese fried on a griddle until it's hot and melty. One of our favorite taco shops in Cabo is Tacos May. They serve tacos de guisados, which means stewed tacos. The one I get every time is the Rajas con queso y crema, and Greg likes the different flavors of beef like tinga de res and carne con salsa roja. Every time we go to Cabo, we eat at Tacos May several times, and we can't recommend it enough. The menu does change for dinner with less options than lunch, but we've never had a bad taco here, so just try whatever looks good. If you're really hungry, check out Rico Suave, a torta, juice, and smoothie place. The tortas are fresh, really tasty, and so large that you will probably need to split one with a friend. There are a ton of options to choose from and you will not be disappointed. This is why we're splitting a sandwich. Yeah. Because it's enormous. For this one was the expensive one. Six bucks? Six to seven. Okay, $7. Kitty Corner to Rico Suave is a fruit stand that is my favorite place to get a fruit cup. In Mexico, fruit cups are a mix of fruit topped with a spicy lime and chili mixture. It's a really refreshing snack for a hot day of wandering around Cabo. In our experience, some of the best food comes out of the back of someone's vehicle. 
We came across this blue truck selling tacos and the fried fish tacos were the best we've ever had. Greg even went so far as to say it was the best fish taco in all of Baja. If there's a street vendor that's crowded, give it a try because it's probably really good food. In the evening, instead of going to an Americanized bar or restaurant for dinner, we walk up the same street where Tacos May is located, called Jose Maria Morelos, and we get a few different things from the food vendors who set up shop just for dinner time. Elote is a good appetizer, which is a mixture of corn, mayonnaise, cheese, lime juice, hot sauce, and chili. Then we head to the tamale guy, who usually has a variety of pork, chicken, green pepper, or sweet tamales. For a buck a piece, you really can't go wrong here. If you're really hungry, stop at Hot Dogs Morelos for a Super Burro. I've always thought a Super Burro tastes like a Big Mac because it's beef with lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and mayonnaise with fries in a giant tortilla. When you're ready for dessert, you can head to the churro stand, where you can get a churro relleno stuffed with chocolate sauce, or a bag of plain churros, which are equally as good. <laughs> Lastly, you can walk up the street to the La Michoacana ice cream store for some ice cream or mango nata. There's so many flavors to choose from, you'll have a hard time deciding what to finish your night off with. While there are many more great food stops in Cabo, these are the ones that we just keep going back to every time. We hope you have a great time on your trip to Cabo San Lucas. Leave us a comment letting us know how your own Cabo food tour went and which spots were your favorites.